planes were born in 1941, but don't let their age fool you. These are some mean flying machines. From takeoff to touchdown, it is all about the team. The Geico Skytypers put on quite the show for crowds all across the country. Lots of noise. It's loud. It's rumbly. It's got a big six-foot prop that makes lots of noise. We fly in unison, even though we're, uh, we were four separate planes today. We act as one. You can watch them from the ground, but this year we are giving you a view from the cockpit. As these pilots take us for a flight to remember. We flew over the River City, from the west side to Mandarin to downtown. These vintage warplanes getting within feet of each other. On now. And of course, there is the iconic smoke trail, condensation where the pilots can literally type out messages in the clouds. A special surprise as we flew over the city. They're fun to fly. Uh, to me, every flight that we do is a flight into history. Our pilots, a mix of former military and airline captains, they made sure we were safe with a life jacket and parachute. Thankfully, we did not have to use them. Really sorry about your back seat. I'll clean it up. <laughs> Relax, that's a joke. No air sickness bags either. The flight intense but satisfying, sitting in the same cockpit as generations before us. I'm an ex-air crewman team member in the 50s. A sight to see for 88-year-old Joe Baldasso, a Korean and Vietnam War veteran who was part of the Blue Angels flight crew. He still gets butterflies getting to see these birds go up in the air. You still get excited getting up close and personal, huh? Oh yeah, that's the love of my life. And if you want to see these guys live in person, they are going to be performing both days of the air show, Saturday and Sunday afternoon. Before that, you know, you might want to look up in the sky because they do have some practice scheduled as well. At Herlong Airport, I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.